we are going to create materials for our walls. We already saw the layer creation. Now what we are going to go, edit. I'm, I'm going to go on the material and create my own. So the first thing that I need to know is what I'm going to create. So I'm going to create a material of wood. I'm going to create a material that is for the structure and has insulation. I already have one. Most probably, I already created it. I have a structure, wood joist, rafter layer with bad insulation. And this has already properties, appearance, graphics, and identity. But we are going to create our own material. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a mortar. It's a cement base plaster that we are going to use as a surface for finishing. So I want to look if I have something named like that. No. Nope. So what I'm going to do is look for plaster. Because it's going to be something similar to it. So I'm going to come over here and upload it to my project, the plaster. And I'm going to begin with it. So I'm going to go right bottom and I'm going to see what I have. I have edit if I want to modify something on this material. I'm going to have duplicate material with assets that I can create a new material that's identical and then I will modify it. That is what I will do. I'm going to create, I can create duplicate using material shared assets. That it means that if I modify the properties of one material, it will modify the properties of the other material. I can rename it, delete it, or add it to my favorites. For now, I'm going to create a material and assets. Basically, I have created a duplicate of the same material, and I'm going to call it mortar. So basically, this material that I'm inventing myself is going to be based of, on concrete. Okay. So it's a concrete element somehow because it's made of concrete, sand. The description is going to be a cement, sand. base material material for finishing for finishing layers or to use as a joint material it's gonna be made of cement so I place it that is in the classification of concrete. I'm going to go to graphics. That is how it's going to be shown. OK, and I can do use render renderize image or I can select the color and transparency. So mortar usually are going to be gray, so I can select gray. And transparency is not if it was a glass, we will go to 100. We can move it to 100. So it's completely transparent. But at this uh, normal uh, concrete material, it's a zero transparency. Surface patterns. How it's going to look in one side. So I can choose if I want the concrete material or the sand dense, one of both. I'm going to go for sand because it's not a structural material and I don't want to confuse it. So a dense sand, a surface, and I can still select the same color or even one that is darker. Okay. 
background i'm going to select the same type of material although it can look the it can look the same or different all depends on what you want you can check a different type of pattern on the back when we go as cutting pattern we can select how it's going to look like when it's cut so i can still go for sand or i can go and create my own pattern instead of selecting one of those i can go and create a new pattern new field pattern when I create a pattern for the section, I'm going to say double cross 45 degrees, 45 angles. Angle every one eighth of an inch. So I have basic or customize. I'm going to just use basic. I'm not going to go that far right now. I can go setting parallel lines, no, cross hatch, both directions, angle 45 degrees. I can space the same or I can space differently if I want to. I'm going to, I press enter without willing. So I'm going to go and to the pencil that it says edit. And I'm going to do one, one eight in both direction. So it's a complete square. Oriented to view, keep readable or align to element. I'm going to do it oriented to, oriented to view. Okay. And that is our pattern for cat. I'm going to diagonal cross hatch. I'm going to look for the pattern I created. I don't see it. Right now. Let me see how it was named. new pattern but okay we didn't provide it a name so i'm gonna i didn't save it so i'm gonna do pose double hatch okay so i can come over here and look for my name Jose. double hatch pressing the j and this is for graphics. Then we have appearance when we are rendering. Graphics is a, when we are representing in 2D appearance. When we are in 3D. As we came from Stucco, we have already an image. We can bring an, another image if we want to. So I can come over here. I can do marble, noise, vector, tiles, waves, wood. I can represent any type of material. Or I can go for image. And edit image. Come over here to the source. And I can choose any uh, any image that I want to. Flooring, plaster stucco, Venetian stucco, any image that I want. And I can open it. And it will modify that image. This 0707 is the size of the image. Okay, if the sample of the image is smaller or bigger, you can just change it. This is for keeping the ratio. If you unlock it, you can modify 
one direction only and, and not keep it. And once you have the real direction, the real size, you keep track and then if you modify, it keeps the same proportion. You can have transparency, cutoffs, self-illumination. You have a lot of things that you can do. These are to create materials for rendering. Physical properties, information. This is going to be called mortar. Description is going to be a gypsum plaster. Now, this is going to be a cement plaster. Cement plaster. Mechanical properties. If it's the same, you keep it. If not, you can modify it. Let's say, let me search one second. Google and say, by the way, it's mortar, not mortar in English, mortar density so i'm looking in google directly semen mortar density and i'm gonna ask in cubic feet cubic feet so it's 120 pounds Per cubic foot, 60. So we have several of them. So we have between 133 until 60. So let's go for the regular one that is gonna be 80. So it's a bit more than, than this one. And the thermal properties, we can search for them and modify them there. Again, this is a cement plaster or mortar. I did it wrong, I spelled it wrong. It's with an A, so I will come over here and modify it also in the information is mortar with A, not with E. Okay, and plaster description plaster of paris now this is a cement plaster or finishing or joints subclass plaster source create uh, dr ferrandez as I created myself this one and after you finish apply and by the way it's with an S uh, with a C at the end okay and you have your material okay I'm gonna insert another one and the mortar I'm gonna place it up I'm gonna say that it's just one inch Okay, I'm gonna go and place over here. Again, I want to create a different material right now. So I'm gonna go and look for OSB panel. I found it, particle board or oh, oh, oriented strand board. I don't know. Why I couldn't find it in the class, but I found it here, so I can just send it up and use it. Apply, okay. And on top of that, I don't like it, but I'm gonna say that I'm using the mortar. Insert, go down. On the other side, I'm gonna go for finishing, and I'm gonna use Let's look for glass 
reinforced concrete. Yep, we have GR, we got it over here. So the library of materials is getting better and better. So I don't have to create that many. I used to have to create GFRC, that it stands for glass, fiber, reinforced concrete. I used to create the mortar and the plaster. I used to create the oriented strand board that you already have it here. So I'm gonna do, this was three eighths of an inch, the, mo the board, the GFRC, we are gonna say that is one eighth of an inch. No, but this, is, okay, we are gonna say three eighths of an inch also. And the structure is gonna be eight, because it's gonna be two by eight, with bad insulation in the middle. So I come over here and said insulation and I have the structure wood joist layer, bad insulation that it's already done and it has the wood and it has the bad insulation. So I accept it. So I have my wall and I created my mortar. So I created my own material and this is gonna look like this. Thank you so much and we'll do the next one.